Hi, today a real fast video. Uh, if you installed Windows 8, for instance, on an old laptop such as this Dell here, the 5150, this is by the way an old version of Windows 8. It's already an expired version, but it doesn't matter. This is just for showing you. Um, then you can download the Vista driver, and if you see the Vista driver, you download it, you unzip it, then you will see uh, it's it has some files in a folder. We won't worry too much about opening. Uh, you go to your uh, to your device manager. You know how to get to your device manager. You go to my computer up here. Right mouse click your computer. It's a little bit slow. It's busy installing a driver at this moment. I thought let me show you guys real fast. Well, I will show you soon how to get into device manager. Then you go to look here. You go to. Uh, properties of your computer then you will see that this is an old version up here we will get uh, a warning security warning telling us that this driver you know it's not really can be verified just say install this driver this is the real tech um, driver we're installing as you can see this is an old uh, Pentium 4 Laptop, 768 megabyte RAM. It's way too little for um, Windows 8, but still it runs really good. I removed some programs that I thought I had to remove. Up here on top you can see the device manager. So what we're doing now actually, I'm going to close this again. We're going back to the driver install. I'm doing way too much. And at this moment it's uh, installing uh, the software, as you see. So I didn't go into the folder and run anything. I just went straight into the device manager, selected the audio driver that had to be installed, and now it's installing the driver, giving us a warning that uh, this driver is not signed uh, to run on this system, but still we're gonna do it because we want the sound to work because now the sound is not working and soon you will see that the sound will yeah, we'll start working. Just waiting to finish the process so you can see it really works. And this is a problem because the AC97 uh, uh, chipset is not supported anymore by Windows 8. And by selecting uh, a Windows Vista driver, you will still be able to you know install uh, some sound on your machine because nothing is more annoying than a laptop that has no sound and you can see it takes a while eh? it's uh, it's a little bit slow it will go uh, faster on your computer And I just want the process to finish within this video so you can see it really works. Eh? Because this is a driver for Fista that we downloaded. It's not supposed to, uh, to be installed on <laughs> this old laptop. And as you saw, you could uh, make yourself a nice little cup of coffee in the meantime while that all is happening at least the chipset was found and this is how it looks the folder you shouldn't go into the folder and then run setup you could but then you probably should uh, right mouse click and then properties you should do that first huh? that is really important because if you don't do that it will it will it will not work and then up here you go to compatibility you see and then uh, you can say run this as uh, for instance Windows Vista Surface Pack 1 
or maybe just Vista there you go you see and then when you run this file the setup file it will think that it's a Windows Vista machine but we can also do it this way but this way it's taking a little bit longer than it should just wondering what kind of warning we will get it's still installing the driver it does take a while eh? I never saw a driver took so long to install over five minutes we're still installing the driver unbelievable I'm just gonna stop it oh wait it's almost there yeah 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 look at that Windows has successfully installed an auto driver you see that and let's look if we have sound Ding, ding, ding. Hey, did you hear that? So we have sound, and uh, we use the 6305 Vista PG537 driver. Can you see that? It's uh, I did not run the setup. What I did was uh, really simple, uh, as I told you, we went uh, to uh, the device manager, I already showed you how to get in there, right mouse click your computer, you know, and then go to properties, and in properties you will be able to go to device manager, and in here you have all the, uh, how you call it, all your cards and all the things that are responsible for letting your laptop or your device doing certain things such as giving sound you know and if you such, such as you can see here a little uh, mark means that the PCI modem is not installed I should also install that but then again I won't use no modem on this thing you know I have a little Wi-Fi uh, card there at the back as you can see it and that one is just responsible for the internet so I just have internet this was uh, what I was showing you uh, this is in fact one processor but uh, it shows two it's called hyper trading you know so one physical processor and two uh, virtual whatever okay so that's it uh, people my sound is working I have enough drivers I don't care about the modem I can say disable yes just disable it so we don't even look at it you know we don't need it and uh, now we have sound and we can put that away and our beautiful uterrent icon so okay I think this is beautiful it works sound is fixed and this is how to fix the AC 97 sound uh, for uh, Windows 8 and yeah yeah Windows 8 Thank you for watching. If you liked it, uh, you know, just rate this video. You know what to do. Bye.